Yo, what's up? My name's Dave and you suck at programming. All right, today we're going to talk about the prompt in Bash, specifically the PS1 variable and the PS2 and other variants, all right? We're not talking about the PlayStation 1. God, I wish we were. Parappa the Rapper. It's just a fantastic game. There's no game that even comes close. But we're going to talk about the prompt in Bash and how to mess with it. So actually, I'm going to start by breaking the fourth wall. When you watch my videos, you might see a little prompt like this, where it's just simply a dollar sign and a space, and then I can type in things, and that's all well and good. That's not what my normal prompt looks like. My normal prompt looks like this, but that's a lot to put on TikTok or whatever social media platform you're watching this on. But there's a lot of stuff going on here. It has my name, it has the host name of the machine I'm on, it has the uname output, it actually has the directory that I'm currently in, it has the git branch. There's a whole bunch of crap going on here, right? And that's a lot. So when I'm giving one of these demos, I like to say PS1 equals, and then I just put the prompt here that I want as a string. Bam, there we go. That's how I do it. So you can do some customization with this. This is actually kind of cool. So instead of saying like, I just put a dollar sign here, I could actually escape this dollar sign. It will look exactly the same, but this will be a pound sign if I was running as root or with escalated privileges. I can do some other stuff. I can put a backslash U here. I can put a backslash D here, an S, a W. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on. Check it out. U will get translated in my username. D will get translated into the date. S will get translated into the shell. W gets translated into, what is this, the base name of the working directory, I believe. There's all sorts of stuff you can do. You could even just put like a whole bunch of like, I don't know, this. You can make it all fancy and then your prompt looks like this. And uh, yeah, you can go wild with it. So um, what else can we do? Oh, there's a PS2 variable. You might, have, you might not even know this exists. When would you ever see the PS2 variable? First, let's reset the PS1 variable. PS2 variable shows up when you're using a here doc. What's a here doc? Well, a here doc is this. See that less than less than hyphen EOF? Now cat is waiting on input. Here is my input. Control D, no, EOF. There we go. Here is my input. As you can see, look at this. The greater than, greater than, greater than, greater than. That is your PS2 variable. So if I were to say PS2 equals, um, hi Dave. There we go. And now we're to rerun that command. Uh, that's a bad example. Let's rewrite it from scratch. Cool, it says, hi, Dave. Hi. Hello. You suck at programming. EOF. Cool. So this prompt is the PS2. The prompt you see here is the PS1. There are other ones. I think like PS4 is used for trace logging or like set X trace, something like that. I don't even remember specifically offhand. Um, there's a whole bunch of magic variables. You can find them if you do, uh, I believe it's like help bash or something like that, or just help man bash. I don't know. There's somewhere in the documents. Um, I have a little notes thing right here. You can peruse this at your leisure. Uh, I'll vim it so it's easier to see. There's a whole bunch of examples. I lifted this from the internet. A um, whole bunch of different examples you can use for uh, different uh, expansions in your prompt. But yeah, that's some demystification around PS1 and PS2 prompts and bash.